Alright all you crazy stunners out there leaping through this year quicker than I could possibly imagine! Welcome back to Under the Radar! And now it's time to check and see which one of you crazy stunners is gonna actually make it out of the first month of this year with all your bones still intact as we leap into yet another month-ending edition of the wild world of stunts! And the first stunt that we have up comes from the Twitterverse, folks! From the Twitter page of Inertial Drift, or Inertial Drift? You know what, we'll go with the first one, with their screenshot from the video game, Inertial Drift. Then I got a feeling I'm butchering the hell out of the name, but don't worry folks, we'll save it after this cool stunt. Because during this said stunt, we'll feature an unnamed driver driving his car backwards in the midst of a race, only for him to do a full, cool, and clean 180 spin to get back into the race during this very race. And would say right above the screenshot itself, going the wrong way, no problem. And I got a feeling he put on a pair of sunglasses before he actually turned on the lights for this car and then went straight forward during the said race. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Maestro's giving it a 10 not only because of the atmosphere, but because of how clean he was able to pull off this 180. So am I. And the next stunt that we have up comes from the stunner Tormented Zeus 5 with his said stunt Project EK. And this stunt features yet another unnamed driver who decided to go to the Los Santos International Airport to go and play his favorite game of Star Fox 64 by launching his bulletproof Karen through the air and would go ahead and do a barrel roll on several different occasions only to land on the upper roads of the Los Santos International Airport with not a car in sight landing on all four wheels like what maestro? Like a glove? For him to just drive off like nothing happened. Nice. And according to the maestro, he did one, two, three, four, five spins before hitting the ground. And with that height, pretty impressive to pull that off. Nice work. And to keep the great stunts going, folks, the next stunt that we have up comes from Retro Cyrus. Nice name, by the way. With his said stunt, backflip work. And in this stunt, a stunner that goes by the name of Tyrone, no last name by the way, decided to go out to the rock quarry and go for a little bit of rock and roll stunts and go on a four-wheeler customized to his liking and pull off a beautiful moon salt and land on all four wheels like what, maestro? Like a glove? only to get chased down by one of the new cars that released last week that I think is called the Nagasaki something? I don't know. Oh, for some strange reason, it reminds me of something that Suzuki would make, and it's a pretty good off-road vehicle to get chased by. And apparently, according to the maestro, that was his friend Mike with the camera chasing him from behind to try to get the footage of the perfect moonsault while he was behind him. So, we'll give him some extra brownie points for that too, because if you're able to keep up with somebody to get that slow motion footage of that moonsault, yeah, you deserve that brownie point for that. And the next stunt that we have up, or should I say movie trailer, which comes from Netflix movies, Double V Pictures, and of course, MCP with their stunt, 007 Blood and Tears Act 3 Teaser Trailer. And in this 
Dead trailer, which not only features high-octane action of, I do believe, the agent that goes by the name of Alex outrunning a whole bunch of Apache helicopters, but also sees him get in a fight with another agent that goes by the name of Mike on the scene with a wrench. Now, for those who are wondering out there, with all the stunts that we mentioned for this week, where was the injury? This would be it, because according to the behind the scenes footage we were so kind to get for this said week's edition of the Wild World of Stunts, according to Netflix movies, the guy who plays Mike would end up getting hit with the wrench on the side of his face so hard, he would fracture his jaw. So yeah, he really hit him, and he really broke his jaw which actually delayed movie productions for about a good three to four weeks. Yikes. But nevertheless, I still got a feeling that Act 3 will be just as good as Act 2 and 1 when we eventually review it on the Wild World of Stunts. Yeah, let's review them all. <laughs> and the last but not least stunt, and something I got a feeling was probably from a movie as well, comes from none other than Double X Eduardo Santos with their said stunt, GTA 5 Siga o Trem, which translates from Portuguese as follow the train. And how in the world would these two riders try to follow the train? And oh, we almost forgot to mention, besides Eduardo on the bike, you would also have Alejandro on the bike as well, both trying to pull off cool train stunts, but only Eduardo would land on the train in a muy magnifico way by landing on the boxcar in one leap with both wheels landing on the train like what maestro? Like a glove! Only for his buddy Alejandro to say, oh yeah, I can do that too! And when he tried to jump over, he would miss the jump, hit the side of the train, and would decide to try to follow the train all the way into the inner cities of Los Santos. And according to eyewitnesses, from the third attempt that he tried to do, yeah, he hit a train signal or a cross signal and would unfortunately be knocked unconscious. And according to the doctors, he's fine, but the only thing he suffered was a, uh, what, a bruised head, I think? He ended up with a lump on the back of his head from hitting that bell that goes ding, ding, ding for the train symbol. So, yeah, he's gonna be out for a while, but he's alright. He's alright. At least he didn't get run over by the train. And if you guys want to check out any other crazy and zany stunts of people trying to get themselves maimed for unnecessary fame, you can head on over to the Rockstar Social Club page, only known as socialclub.rockstargames.com, and click ever so lightly on that video button to check out a whole bunch of crazy stunners out there that are really trying to break this month in by breaking a few bones. Or records. We're hoping more for records than bones, despite what you think out there. And I guess with that said, folks, we might as well head back into this music, and when we return, we'll be back with another month-ending edition of the GTA Online Top 5 Tracks of the Month, right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 